What is your goal? Imagine this scenario. You've been called on to perform some sort of scientific communication. It could be an article or speaking at a conference or recording a short video or carrying out a live experiment. Your first reflex may be to jump in front of your computer to write a plan or jot down some ideas. But guess what? It's too early for that. The first thing you need to do is sit down and think. Yes, just think, because you've got an important question that needs answering before you dive into your content. You have to ask yourself why you want to address this audience. In other words, what is the purpose of this piece of communication you're about to create? The answer to this question will determine so many details about the scientific communication you are about to prepare. For example, you've been asked to give a short presentation about your research to visitors of your department. These individuals could be experts in their field or even potential partners of the institution for which you work. Or a peer review committee that will determine your institution's future accreditation. And as usual, you have very little time to prepare. Or your goal may be to get the general public to fall in love with science or in your particular field. This is often the case when you speak at a science fair or at the researcher's night. The goal is not to ensure that the audience will remember dozens of minutes scientific explanation in details, but that they have good time, that they marvel at the amazing field that you are in and that it witnessed the importance of your field of science and the way your fellow researchers work. But if you're addressing another more professional audience, your goal may be quite different. When you talk to an investor, your goal is to convince them to invest in your research. If you talk to an industrialist, the goal is the same, to convince them to collaborate with you, for example, to finance a thesis or to call on your skills. Here, there is no longer a question of the beauty of the research, but of results, deadline, market, and so on. You may also be interested in collaborating with researchers from other disciplines, sometimes far removed from your own. The goal will be to convince them that conducting research together will, could be beneficial to you both. And perhaps you may be asked to submit a statement to a widely published newspaper or be interviewed by a journalist. Your goal is then to inform the public through them. Inform them about the latest research results, inform them about the state of science in your field, Help citizens to make informed conclusions on issues that concern them, such as data security, air pollution, artificial intelligence, global warming or medical technologies. But why question the aims of your communication? After all, couldn't we say the same thing to everyone, simplifying more or less according to the scientific level of the audience? Well, unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because communicating is not just simplifying. It is getting a message across that people will internalize and remember. Some scientists only want to talk about results, as in what appears in publication. Others prefer to describe the scientific process, the doubt we may have about it, the passion for it, the human adventure to uncover breakthroughs in your our fields. And then others like to discuss the implications of science on society. And finally, some scientists just love to spark debates and even controversies. Anything is possible. It all depends on what you want to say. Only when you have found out what you want to say and communicate, can you move on to the next step, defining your message. Mm -hmm.